welcome to the Cuisine Masterclass Series in association with Daniel Lebrun. I'm Sarah Nicholson, the editor of Cuisine Magazine. So we're thrilled to be back tonight with Sean Connolly from The Grill. I think it's important that people eat well at home, not just when they come out to restaurants. So I've put a couple of dishes in. The first dish in tonight's demonstration will be a garlic and perno prawns. We split the prawns, throw them on the barbecue, and then toss them in some uh, garlic and perno. Beautiful. And my second seafood dish of the night will be uh, a salt and butter salmon tail, which is uh, salmon wrapped in uh, prosciutto and sage. Uh, we've got the best salmon possible. We're using king salmon. Uh, New Zealand's famous for its salmon with the crystal clear waters. The philosophy behind the dinner tonight, or the, the food tonight, is uh, on the bone and in the shell. That's where we began. Uh, whether it be um, you know, throwing mussels on a fire or throwing, you know, legs of goat on the fire. Uh, it's prehistoric, but it's true. So it's just all about on the bone cooking. I've got a couple of dishes here tonight. My first one is uh, a salmon tail. A salmon tail. Now these are actually a byproduct. These are things that people don't like to use. But if you, like, if you go to your uh, fishmonger and ask them for a fish tail, There'll be heaps of them. I'm just um, going to cut around the edge here. What we're trying to do is make this look like a, a leg of ham. Anyway, we're just going to uh, cut around it. Ideally, what we should be doing is having this little bone here. Um, we're just going to get the ham out. I'm using uh, prosciutto here, but you can use ham on as well. I find when I'm using cutting salmon, uh, it really tastes lovely with that uh, a really hammy, meaty, salty taste wrapped around it some sage here as well so we're just going to uh, mark up this fish and what this will do is uh, it'll make it cook more evenly so we're just going to uh, pop this sage on you don't need to season this fish because because uh, it is quite salty with a ham on it wrap this around it and it really is as easy as that you can just do that with a little salmon fillet as well so we're just going to uh, pop this fish in the hot pan. These pans have been hot for a while now. So we're just going to fry that up. While that's going, we're going to do uh, my garlic prawns. So we're just going to uh, split these up. How's this fish doing? We're just going to put this in a tray and in the oven. So here's the thing, when you're doing shellfish, it's really important that you don't wash the shellfish after you've split them. You scrape out the head jam, you don't want to lose the flavour uh, and there's also the caramelisation of the shell as well, it will give you that real kind of lovely roasted crustacean taste. We're just going to, uh, Roscoe come up here, have a round of applause for Roscoe. And I'm looking for someone else, one more person. Can we have a female, a lady, or this lady here? We're going to cook some prawns, and it's really easy. So I want you to put these prawns on. Uh, use your hands. You want to put that in right there, Roscoe? Put those prawns in. You want me? So we're going to colour those up nicely. Then we're going to uh, chop some garlic, just a bit of garlic. The whole idea is that you add some salt to the garlic. Now the salt becomes an abrasive. It's a classic French way of uh, crushing garlic. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're just going to flip them. There you go. What we're going to do is we're going to take these out for one moment. Roughly. Okay, lovely. It's, it's not that posh, you can just go like that. Okay. <laughs> Right, okay, we're going to put a little bit of oil in, a little bit of butter, just to get it going. We're going to drop our onions in. And we're going to drop in our garlic. Do you want to give that a stir, Roscoe? Focus, mate, focus, come on. All right. <laughs> so, you're doing a good job. That one over there, Roscoe, that one, mate, that one, that's already been done, Giza. You stand there with this. You stand there with this. Throw the head in, it's all flavour. I say now. I know, I know. When, come here, come here. Come here. When I say now. Go on, go in. Oh, there you go. There you go, Roscoe. That's yours, mate. Way, there you go. 
<laughs> we love the fire. All right, it's as simple as that. They're done. Just keep tossing them, big man. Bit of parsley. And there we have our garlic and perna prawns. That simple. How good does that smell? Thank you. Thank you. Well, we try our best. We try. So just pop them on the uh, on the plate here. Just got to do this salmon. And basically, should come out looking like this. So it's got this lovely uh, kind of tail, like like ham hot looking style. So. So we've got some parsley, some, some mint, some tarragon. Uh, it's a really fresh, herbaceous kind of salsa verde. I try, but as I said, I try and keep things as simple as possible. Just uh, roughly chop some garlic. Uh, and then we've got a tin of anchovies. And it gives you that really... I, what I love about anchovies is uh, you can actually use them as a seasoning. I use them with lamb a lot. So we're just going to uh, finish it off. A bit of lemon juice. For you, a bit for me. <laughs> Dropping our olive oil our, to our green sauce. And then it really is as easy as this, you just drizzle it over the top. And there you go, salt and butter with green sauce. There you go. Thank you.